Those of you who have females and they're coming into their cycle or they're on their cycle, you want to make sure that you buy the panty liners. Uh, they come in 10 or 20 or 54, unscented. Um, the reason why I use the thin one is so that it doesn't, it's not bulky back there where they're, they'll actually pull it apart. So the thin one works better, okay? So this is how we're going to do this. You're going to grab one of your old underwears, okay? And place two big holes in the back about that size, that quarter size, okay? Then you're going to place the panty liner in the center, all right? Also, you're going to invest in... Home Depot, they have this sponging cord with a little knot at the end. Very inexpensive, okay? So I'm gonna show you how you're gonna put the panty on the female, all right? And Miss so Gold is our model here, so she's kinda expert at this. Okay, of course you're gonna put one on each leg. Here it goes one. She goes, goes, my goodness, other. how many times you guys are gonna do this before you and get it right? you're wondering why the two holes at the end? Here it's why. You have to come over the tail like this, and the two holes that you created, you're going to bring them together, and you're gonna pull, place the bungee cord through the holes, and then you're going to create like a knot. Do it twice. Once that's done, you're gonna just adjust it here really good, and it's done. So make sure that when you see the panty soil, you change the panty all the time. You don't never want to leave it soil. So make sure it's nice and clean. Okay. Very good. And the cycle's going to last for 21 days. Your your, your first week, the the the, the female is, is is maybe going to play around a little bit, but not be in acceptance. The second week after her. LH surge, she will enter into the week of acceptance. Be sure your female is in her crate and behind at least one locked door. <laughs> if you're going outside or trying to, to, to go to the garage or what have you, be very careful. I, I recommend that that female is placed in a room, in a crate, before you even attempt to go out one of the doors that would lead the female to get to the outside because during the next week, this middle week, she is going to be very active and looking for a mate, whether it's a Chihuahua, Rhodesian Ridgeback, or a Great Dane. A female during this period of time is very excited and, and wants to do what Mother Nature is instructing her to do. So, after the third, the second week, you go into the third week, and that's what's the week of rejection. So if you were breeding, the female at this point would not let a male mount her. So your first week is a dark blood. Your second week is a light blood. And your third week uh, depends on your female, but it sometimes goes back to a darker blood. And after about 21 days, you should be free of these panties and ready to go on to the next stage. I recommend for you folks that are not going to uh, breed your dog, which I believe is everybody, that this is probably a pretty good time to wait a few more months and have her spading done so her hormone level is balanced out evenly. And that's how we do it here at Hunters and Farms and been doing it that way for years. It's very inexpensive and you don't have to waste all your money at PetSmart. Thank you and Pastor Minnie, thank you for your uh, nice video. God bless everyone and we'll see you shortly with uh, videos on uh, healing and, and behavior situations as such as what we covered today with Dr. Zhu on eating biting and jumping up of a young puppy.